What's up, y'all? Niho2, streaming from What About Bob here. I'm going to show you how to get these titles, The Naked Fighter, The Lone Challenger, The Invincible Traveler, and The Power of Life and Death. All right, as you can see, we got to kill, we can't kill anything but, but the boss. Uh, we got to go without praying at a shrine. Uh, we have to clear a main mission without using any guardian spirits, and we can't have any armor. Now, the best way to do this is like later in the game when you're quite beefy. Uh, and just go back to the first stage, and then just speed run it. And now... Without further ado... It's gonna be a home run! Let's do this! Don't worry about picking anything up, man. Nothing in here is worth your time. Watch your key. Just run naked as a jaybird all the way through here. No armor, no nothing. It's a lot easier than you might think. And it's funny too, because, you know, a lot of people, especially me, I had a lot of fucking problems getting through this stage when I first started. Just keep on coming through here. Run right past this guy. Down this way. Just make sure you don't get up to a group of enemies and you're like low on key. That's the big thing. All these folks will miss you. I'm gonna right through here. You might think you have to kill the uh, the monkey that's back here to get the shrine key, but you don't. So, but what you want to do is you want to get these enemies, you want to get some aggro off of yourself. So go ahead and get a buddy. Don't do that. Get the shrine key. Hopefully your buddy follows you. Pull him in. I'll beat his ass. By this point in the game, you should be more than enough, more than enough powerful to beat this dude without any issues. Bam. And if you did it right, you'll now have all four of those titles. Super simple, right? Super simple. And depending on how your character looks, you could do it in style. Come on, grab what loot you can and get over it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stream the main mission in Niho now. I'm only doing main missions now. I just thought that would be pretty cool to show. Thanks for watching, y'all. Go check out the rest of the content. It's an adventure. Well, I might as well stream it from here. There's no reason to cut this off. Right? Right. Big thing is, make sure that you put all your stuff back on. I have an option where my headgear doesn't show because I like looking at my pretty face because I am pretty. In case you're wondering, I also refashioned these so they look like completely different pieces of armor. Ooh. Oh man, that's really good. 
And the only thing I'll be losing is 3.8% shuriken damage and kunai damage? Do I get 94? I think I could deal with that. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, blacksmith real quick and temper that up. Welcome. Let's see here. Gold urn. Don't care about that. But we got toughness. Absolutely. Toughness is a very, very important stat in this game. Equipment drop rate versus Yoki. Water resistance. Running speed. Uh, let's do... Equipment drop rate. Oh, what's in defense? I always check and see if there's anything else that popped up. Come by again. Yeah, boy. All right. Continuing on with our journey. Yeah, you could do the same thing in, uh, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta fight this dude? Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. He's got a spear, too. Let's go with this. A lot of the, a lot of you don't know, or a lot. what I didn't realize is you can just, like, start off with a big old boon to yourself by just popping him in the head. Actually, let me get my slow spell here. Let's begin. I'm hit him with that. I think he's an electric element, so probably not the best thing to use on him. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Hey! Hey! Yo! What's going on here? Uh, uh, I didn't do well there. Alright, don't use electric on him. Make sure you're locked on. Come. Actually, that doesn't do that much damage. Just stay the fuck away from him. He's got a lot of poise, too. Catch on fire, damn it! Ah! Alright, now he's poisoned. Oh shit! Damn it! I'm paralyzed. Ah, oh, moving slow! Oh my god! Oh no! Bro, what's going on here? I can't keep on using all that. My ninjutsu is not doing what it's supposed to be doing! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. That's a great thing about those fire shurikens, they're delayed. Uh-oh, I'm out. I'm out! Woo! 
Oh shit! I thought I had anima. Uh oh. That was that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh god damn it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you bastard. Oh, come on, man! Oh, shit! Nope, wrong one. Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit! Bro, these things are not taking much life away from him at all. Oh, you and your poise! Oh, God damn it! I forgot to put my guardian spirits back on. No wonder! Son of a bitch. That was dumb. Uh oh. Way to do any burst counters. There we go. Haha, -ha, I did that without Guardian Spirits, bastard. Woof. How you like that? But do not let this go to your head. Look, I'm a ninja, bro. My skills. I throw I shit. Prepare myself. <laughs> and we shall do battle again. Yeah, when I have guardian spirits on. Oh, it looks like I got another one. I have borne this mighty Muramasa spear onto countless battlefields. <sighs> What'd that dragonfly ever do to you, man? But though it cut a dragonfly, it could not defeat those fiends. Now well, I dragonfly is a lot weaker than me. those fiends. But as a warrior of Mekawa, death must come before dishonor. Let us see when we next meet. Uh, so we got a stag. It's an electric stag, which is good, man, because we've been getting fucking nothing but water, water spirits for like the longest time.
Shinroku wins. Fatality. Tom Borkiri. Tom Borkiri. That's actually a pretty good spear if I remember right. The Fallen Star. Oh, let me put my damn spear animal back on. Oh, let's see what he's got. Alright, so we got... Oh man, we're not even close. Lightning damage A... But you would need to have courage and strength, which we're not putting anything into. Oh, this is really good, too. So we would have to put in 11 points between courage and strength. Ah, oh, man. That'd be really good to have. This is like, this is a really good fucking spirit animal, man. Tombment cost is 18. His base stats aren't the greatest. Still a lot better than all these other fuckers. Oh man, I might, I might just end up putting some. It's going to be a lot though. Uh, we'll hold off on it. There might be something better coming along for a build my way for for a build that's closer to me. What do we get from him? Oh, we do get his life drain, strong attack life drain. Twenty-five, lightning damage five percent. <laughs> I still think this guy's better than that, though. With the toughness, plus 10. Let's see here. Go ahead and do the main mission. Where are we at? 18 minutes? Yeah, we can do this in 40 minutes. Yeah, we're already close to 100,000 needed for a point. So it would definitely be slow coming if we we're trying to fucking get that one. That particular spirit animal. Guardian spirit, excuse me. Dude, why are you so expensive, bro? Five cups. Something I did off screen, we got a uh, Hattori Hanzo, the ninja guy. I mean, Lord Nobunaga let him marry his sister after all. There's a um, there's a, a title for beating a dweller with your bare hands. So we're gonna try and do that real quick. And if things get, things get, uh, we might not be able to do it with this dude because he might kill him, but we're going to try. I'm breaking him up real quick. Oh shit, one bomb killed him. Damn. Well, oh, this stage sucks. Oh man, you got the smelly stuff all over you. Uh, it's got the weasels. Oh, this stage is horrible. This stage is fucking horrible. 
Get these shortcuts opened up as soon as possible. You're gonna need them. What's that over there? Oh, there's another one right there. Okay. Ah, shit. Got him. All right. Yeah, we got a fucking... Got the title, baby. All right. Let's put those weapons back on. There's also a title for beating uh, four or 30 humans with your bare hands. So again, to get these titles, the best thing to do is just go back. I can barely bring myself to eat. Go back to... Um, the beginning of the game. I think we wanted to keep this one on, even though it was a lower. Go back to the beginning of the game and try and get the titles. Gets your power. We're trying to get the more obscure titles. It's just easier that way. Some of these are water and some of these are stank. You can tell which ones are water and stank. You could, there's a noticeable difference in between each of the, um, the way the barrels look. Alright, we got spiders. Now, I find the best way to handle these things is with a low attack. Or a mid attack. Because your high attack is, might be a little slow, and you got like little baby spiders all over the place that are gonna come out at you. Now that I think, now that I know it's this stage, we're probably not gonna be able to um, finish this in one go. It's probably gonna be two videos for sure. Get off me! They put a slow effect on you too. Alright, so there's gonna be dudes shooting uh, guns at you from over there. Like rockets. And I think as soon as one of these dudes up here sees you, he'll start shooting rockets. So the first thing you want to do is go over there and take out this area. Well, there's all kinds of hell waiting for you down there, so... Just be mindful of that. There's a Kodama down there somewhere. See that motherfucker? Good thing is, you could come over here and use a rocket and take out a few enemies too, though. Oh shit! Let's 
go ahead and take off this uh, this tower over here. Boom! I always shoot this one, but there's like it doesn't do anything. There is a much more useful little setup of one of these later on in the game that I'll show you when we get to it. Now we want to go back this way because this is, uh, it does open up a shortcut this way if I'm not mistaken. But you see those weasels, bro? Oh my god, those things are, those are the, those are worse than foot fucking hammer, dude. The weak spots their tail. You got a stink on you, then you're not gonna be able to heal. So anytime you run through this shit right here, put the put the the, the buff on, or the debuff on you. Go down, uh. I knew that was going to happen too. Fucking knew that was going to happen. Don't do what I did, folks. Be mindful of your surroundings. So right down there is where we came in at? It's the shrine, I think? Yeah. The next shortcut we want to go after is coming from up that way. From up there. Yeah. Meant to sneak up on his ass. Alright, our buddy has departed. Yeah, if you don't take out that rocket dude, he's going to be firing shit all at you all throughout here. Very annoying. Very deadly. Bro, you ain't gonna hit nobody doing that wild swinging. You gotta be disciplined. You racket discipline. Kodama.
right over there's a shrine as you can see and that's the door we opened up go ahead and get a buddy So a couple of different ways to get it through here in this place, obviously, as you can see. You can pretty much skip everything that we went through just by coming up that way. But then you obviously the Kadamas and the rocket guy and everything is over there. So much more. It's a much better route. I think, you know, I think what a lot of people take for granted is all of these, like, Souls-likes games, at their heart, they're all really puzzle games. Like, how and which way do you uh, take out enemies so that you don't aggro, and what's the best way to go about doing it, so, you know, with environmental factors and all that other stuff. It's all one big puzzle, man. It's all one big puzzle. with a little bit more action to it. Uh, if you didn't take out that uh, tower with that rocket, there's a bugle dude up there and he'll call all of his buddies and you'll have all kinds of people on your ass as you're trying to make your way through there. You can run away and get away from them, and they'll de-aggro. Alright, so there's a Yoki up there, and he's got an explosive barrel, so as soon as he sees you, he's going to roll that explosive barrel. So make sure that your AI is over here. There's a red barrel right beside him that you can hit. I can't believe he's still there. There we go. I was close. Thanks, battle buddy. I about got schwacked. If he hadn't hit him with that Odachi, I would have been in trouble. Yo, or uh, Kodama. He's got a title too. Yokai Cutter. Alright, so this is kind of the same setup in here. Uh, there's a guy up there that will blow a horn. To be honest with you, I don't know how you get around this without getting spotted. I'm sure there is a way, but I've never found it. And this is the path of progression. Now what you could do, if you're feeling saucy, is you can run right through there, all of that, and keep on running up towards those trees back there, and then that way, and then there's a shrine back there. Um, what I suggest is just bait these guys out That is the only thing about using your yokai abilities, man. They can still fuck with you. Yeah. 
you should have iframes when you use those abilities, but you don't. And if you do, they're very, very quick. Bait this dude out. No, well, or shoot his head off. Either or. Both. See, he just blew his horn. As soon as you walk in there, man. As soon as you walk in there. I don't know how to avoid it. my life. See what I mean? Now, if you run in there, there's going to be all kinds of enemies in there. So we're going to have to try and bait them. Good thing is, they get hurt too. Alright, I think we could take a left down this passage. There are spiders and shit all over this place. Are you fucking kidding me? Luckily those little spiders aren't too beefy at all. But by god, down there, that's not fun, man. That's a whole hallway full of death right there. We're gonna go, um... We're going to go try and hit that shrine up before we go down there. See, look, dude. As soon as you walk out, they start fucking lobbing missiles at you. Oh, shit. I can't stress enough how uh, important that move is for the Kurosagami. Oh fuck! I mean, you see what I mean? Golly.
Oh, damn. Yes. Burn with the fires of a thousand suns. Not dead yet. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Son of a bitch! Big dummy, blow yourself up. <laughs> Alright, so right here, this right here is the weapon that is super useful. Now, over in there is a yokai zone. All right? But to get up there is a whole bunch of death and, and destruction. Okay? It just is. So what I recommend doing is take out that demon with this thing, run over to the yokai zone, activate it, and then a big old warm, one of those warriors are going to pop out. So run away, come back over here, and use this thing to take it out. All right? I promise you. It just works so much fucking better. All right, we got a skeleton warrior over there that we want to take out. Alright, that's one shot down. He's dead.
See, they go to nowhere, man. It would be, it'd be a lot better if they let us aim them like they have the ability to fucking aim them. How come a big old dead dude's able to aim shit, but I'm not? That's bullcrap. All right. To get up there, we got to go behind the house. How do we get up there again? I think behind the house. Oh, there's a dweller over here. Obviously, all these things are right here, so while you're running around with, like, a, a, a mad woman, you're, uh, you got the chance of getting exploded by a damn missile. Now, it may take a little while. So, this is the patience technique. But trust me, it's worth it. more than welcome to go up in there and just start wrecking shop. Completely up to you. There's a guy back here and a dog. Dog that can throw shurikens. I thought there was a Namahage back here, one of those big dudes with the hatchets. Alright, so go up there, hit the yokai pool, run back away, he'll stay out. Oh, there is a skeleton guy. Fuck! Alright, maybe he'll go back and we can uh, hit him with our fucking... rocket. <sighs> yep, he's out. Alright, so we see that he's out right there. He's pathing. I'm pretty sure these rockets will hit him, though. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's see if we can't hit him with this fucking thing. Fudge. Well, we can still see if we can't hit him with our weapons to pull him over a little bit. Yep, we got a, we got a beat on him. Got a little bit of a beat. See if we can't pull him over. Damn it. Might just have to go up there and fight him head on. Alright, let's 
go up there and bomb them. I'm not getting close to that guy. They do one burst move with that axe swing. It's over with, man. See if we can't sneak up on him. Now, now, make sure there's no other fuckers back here. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, bro. No, go the other way. Shit. Oh, this is a way to do it as well. Why isn't this working? This used to work. Well, that's one way to do it. Well, at the very least, you could take out old boy with the rocket, the demon guy. You could, well, you got a bedrock blaster, so that's a pretty good uh, hand cannon. All right. Now that we've officially cleared out this place, we are going to hit the shrine up, level up, because we can. And then we're going to run back down here and clear out this. And odds are we're not making it through there the first time. This is Azai's final stronghold. We mustn't be defeated here. This isn't even the hard part of the stage. Over up in there, you got a whole nother rocket fucking demon stuff then there's a whole area over there and then we got to go through that whole castle all right we got everything up to 10 start working on our constitution again <sighs> Okay, so this is about already cut off, so go ahead and upload this, and then we will come right back and finish up this.